Today, I'm actually sitting down with sound designer A.O. Dawson. He's worked on probably most of the music videos that you have seen come out in the last few years. And he's gonna walk us through and give us some tips to level up your sound design for your videos. Us at Cinepacks actually collab with Dawson and we actually dropped a sound effects pack, the core sound effects pack. Before I dive into the tips with A.O. Dawson, check out this promo he did the sound design for, for the pack we made together. He only used sound effects from the pack and he went crazy on it. Check it out. Now loading core sound FX pack. With over 100 unique sound effects made for filmmakers. Designed and created by A.O. Dawson. Only available at cinepacks.com. The layering and sound design is insane on that. So let's dive into some tips on how he achieved those effects. The first tip that he's gonna talk about is reverb. Let's see what Dawson has to say. What's the purpose of using reverb on a sound effect? What can that offer you? Reverb's a really, really cool way of kind of just blending your sound into the video and making it feel like it comes from within the space. For example, like a convolution reverb, if you was to drag and drop down into a sound and play around with that in Premiere Pro, like you'll see straight away, it's got like a ton of presets for you to just have a play around with. Pretty much like if you want to make the sound sound like it's coming from like a classroom or hallway or a gallery, you can easily do that with the convolution reverb. I normally use that for more like realistic type sounds, like for example, like footsteps or like foley and stuff or cars driving by or people talking. If you're in like a locker room, for example, like drag on the composition reverb and make it sound like the voices are coming from a locker room. Make it sound like the voices are coming from a locker room. The second type of reverb and the one that you probably use most for music videos is the studio reverb. I would say like 90% of my sounds, I was in some way, shape or form, use a reverb or add a little bit on. Sometimes the studio reverb will have like a little bit of like a delay at the end and just helps blend the sounds a little bit into your songs more. For example, if you have like a camera shutter sound and you don't want it to stand out too much, one thing you can do, lower the volume a bit and add like reverb to that to make it sound like it fits more within the song. So you can hear using reverb is pretty essential when blending in your sound effects into your edit. Now let's move on to the second tip, which is layering. Layering like the fire sounds and the wishy sounds would like create like a more beefier type fire to transition. If you have that beef it up a lot and make it like really slap and hit once the beat drops, another thing you can do as well, lay in like a whoosh and a hit together. And what Dawson is getting at here is that layering multiple sound effects, whether it's from our pack or just other sound effects you have, can really help add depth to your sound design and make it feel more full. So I'm gonna show you a little bit what Dawson means by layering. So we have our sound effects pack here. If you don't have our pack, don't worry. The best place to get free sound effects is freesounds.org is a pretty solid place to start out at when you need sound effects. All of them may not be clear for commercial use, so you kind of have to read into those. Uh, let's just say I type in a whoosh. Let's go ahead and search that and just make an account. It's pretty easy. Play this. You got a simple whoosh like that. We're going to try some layering here. I'm going to grab one of the fire sound effects. Let's listen to some of these. Let's grab this one. This one works. Let's go to the fire part in the video. We have these fire transitions right here. Let's see. And then let's go ahead and layer a whoosh on top of that. So let's go into our whooshes. So let's give that a listen. So you can see it feels a little bit more full. And then also what he talked about is adding some risers in there. So you can actually build up to that whoosh, that fiery whoosh, and make the whole sound design feel a little bit more full. So let's listen to some of these risers. That works perfect. So I'm gonna go ahead and drag that on and we'll want that right about there. So let's give that a listen. Obviously there'd be other sound design in there. So you can see how you can really start to layer things. The third tip that Dawson gives us is using pitch. I would say like every single video I, I work on, like I would change the pitch of a sound in some way, shape or form. You'll find that a lot of your wishes and a lot of your camera shutters 
and maybe even glitches sometimes they sound really really out of place within the music video and no matter what you do you just add reverb you like try to lower the high frequencies and it just doesn't sound great the one of the reasons why is because sometimes the sound is just so out of pitch with the key of the song so one thing you can do to really help blend it in is just try to pitch the sound effect to like match the key of the song if that makes sense and Dasa was talking about changing the pitch I'll quickly show you how to do that so if we just go over to effects and we type in pitch and we can drag on pitch shifter to this so I have a simple camera shutter sound right here and let's say that's a little too high pitch for our video I'm gonna go ahead and click this and you can really edit the pitch right here so they have presets like pretty much everything angry gerbil all sorts of crazy things but you can really play with it yourself and see what each uh thing does so there's some presets you can play around with you can see if changing the pitch helps the sound effect fit better in your composition tip number four is playing around with the speed duration b ramping as well that's really really cool for like slow motion stuff obviously like it comes speaks to itself like slow the sound down if you want like a slow motion effect so that wish that we downloaded from earlier we can actually slow that down and make it sound pretty different so let's go ahead and try that so i'm just going to hit r in the keyboard and i'm going to go ahead and stretch that sound out and typically when you stretch out a sound it's going to lower the tone just a little bit the pit so let's say this transition we want to use that that doesn't really work but if we hit r in the keyboard and stretch that out this is the free sound that i downloaded from earlier let's go ahead and use that so you can see how much speed duration changed that sound effect. So let's even make it a little bit longer and let's line it up. Well, completely changes that sound. So here's a pro tip for you. If you don't want the pitch to change when speeding up a sound effect or slowing it down. So let's say we have this whoosh right here. Let's listen to it. What we can actually do is we can click maintain audio pitch. And let's say we go even faster. It's going to sound exactly the same, just faster. Tip number five that Dawson gave me is reversing sound effects. This can really help double the amount of sound effects you have. Like a lot of the whooshes will have a really, really long tail. And those are the type of whooshes that for me feels best when you start to reverse them because they really, really long intro and a really, really long riser. Some sounds don't sound great reverse at all, but it's really, really cool if you just like just drag and drop different sounds in and see how they sound reverse and like on layering and pitch shifting the reverse sound and stuff. So with that same whoosh sound we downloaded earlier, we can totally reverse that. I'm gonna go into speed duration and I'm gonna reverse it. So that should turn it into some type of riser or hit. So let's play that. You can kind of see that it builds up into something. So if I play around with some of the risers that we have here, if I go ahead and reverse that, it turns into a hit. So it starts and then it goes down. Let's hear the last tip that Dawson has for us. I mean, so lastly, yeah. like what's one of the biggest issues that you see with people's music videos that add sound design? Yeah, I would say probably like the muddiness of it. I feel like layering is really, really important, but at the same time, it's also important to not over layer it where it sounds like everything's really, really muddy. Uh, especially for a lot of like hip hop and trap music videos, they have like a really, really strong like 808 or like a bass line. Um, so in that case, it's really important that you do want to feel like the meat and the beef and the low end of the, the whooshes and the risers. But at the same time, you don't want to take away from the song. I would say for music videos, as much as, as cool as sound effects are, you kind of don't, you kind of want the song to be the main focus in the music video and or the whole soundscape in general. So like simple things like just like, um, I guess the easiest thing is just lowering the overall volume of the sound effects and like adding reverb to blending a little better. But you probably find that in a lot of cases that would probably sound a little too muddy, especially if you're adding like four or five layers to a, a single transition. So one thing you can do is kind of just like get your um, EQ and just like lower all the lowering frequencies a little bit. So those are pretty much all the tips that Dawson has. If you guys want to hear more from Dawson, I've actually done a podcast with him, which I'll link down below. I'll link his Instagram. And if you get the pack, there's like a 15 minute tutorial with him on how to use the sound effects. So make sure to check out our sound effects pack if you guys want to support. If you can't get the pack, no worries. Feel free to drop a like and subscribe down there. I'd really appreciate it. I'm Tyler Casey with Setup Packs. Let me know what you thought about this video. Put a little more time into it. Added some B-roll sat down and talked with Dawson. That's pretty much it for today. I'm Tyler Casey. I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks.